Hi, my name's Alvin. This is my modification video. So for my charger, it was highly customizable. So before, it was operating at a too high of a voltage. So using these equations right here, um, I was able to solve for a different resistor value so it can operate at about 8.5 volts. So using this equation, 1.2 volts times, in parentheses, 1 plus 499 kilo ohms over X, I was able to solve for a 220K kilo ohm resistor value so it can operate at 8.5 volts. And for the same thing for the input volts, I used a different equation, 2.1 volts times 1 plus 499K over X, and I saw for a 100 kilo ohm resistor, and it was able to operate at an output of 4.2 volts. So for my extension, I had an iPhone be charged, and the unique thing about an iPhone charger is that they take voltage through the data pins, so right here, I so before I only had a power and ground, and for a USB they have four ports. They have a power, ground, and two data pins. So using four resistors, I used a 560 kilo ohm and 150 kilo ohm. I was able to put in voltage about two volts into the data pins. So the iPhone would be getting. 5 volts from the power ground and about 2 volts from the data pins. So I also um, secured all the components in my box by using electrical tape and also pink styrofoam. And these kind of styrofoam are really unique because it does not conduct electricity. So it also secures all the components as well.